Hello guys, hi. It's me, Queen Wonderful. How are you? I'm coming with you with another video vlog. Um, I am just sitting here and um, just chilling and thinking about how blessed I truly am. Um, I am... Um, Tomorrow I have an appointment with my endocrinologist, and um, I wanted to share with you, you know, I'll be vlogging through about my experience with um, um, Graves' disease, and um, I don't know, I just, um, I'm sorry about the background noise, but... <laughs> My husband and my boys are watching the game, and they're kind of excited, so if you hear any yelling or screaming, <laughs> it's them having a good time watching the game. But I'm sitting here in my office, and um, I just finished watching a couple of videos, and um, I don't know, I'm kind of a little bit disturbed by them. Um, I just recently got back my lab results. And, let's see, I wanted to share um, share with you guys what exactly um, it says. So, I'm holding my cell phone and I'm trying to do this. Okay. It says, um... This is uh, my results from my ultrasound and my thyroid. And it says clinical history, which is goiter, and that is the lump in my neck. Can you see? It's right here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right here. Um, and it says findings, longitudinal and transverse images of the thyroid gland are done with grayscale scale and color flow images. The thyroid gland is enlarged with heterogeneous ethnogenesis throughout both lobes. I don't know what that means, and I'm a nurse. <laughs> I guess it's... Uh, let's see. There is normal color flow. Uh, the thyroid is isthmus measures up to 10 millimeters in thickness and um, it says 1.7 centimeters and 1.2 centimeters and it says the right thyroid lobe measures and they give you your measurements but the thing that I'm really concerned about is um, I have several nodules in my um, right thyroid lobe and um, it says here the upper pole nodules measuring 0 0.9 and 0 0.6 the mid pole measures 0 0.9 and 1.0 and the lower pole nodule measures 1.6 centimeters so Try to see if I can get into some light. Um, and then it says, I hope you guys can hear me okay. Uh, the left thyroid lobe measures, and give the measurements, and like I said, I don't know what's the normal measurements, but uh, it says it's several left thyroid nodes, and the one on the left side is a little bit bigger, bigger than the right, I think. The mid pole measures 1.0 and 1.2 centimeters, and the lower pole measures 1.9 centimeters. And though, you know, they're not really, really huge, but they're big enough to be biopsy, I believe the criteria is for anything over one centimeter is supposed to be biopsied. So, um,. I'm going to go see him tomorrow, and I know that's what he's going to say he wants to do, which is having a fine needle biopsy and uh, taking some cells from um, the thyroid just to rule out cancer. 
and also um, because I do have um, or this Graves disease thing um, they're gonna probably want to do it by redectomy which I'm not against it I mean I kinda wanna just get everything over with and you know I have to admit I do get a little depressed when I think about having to go through this uh, the last time I had surgery I had a complication and you know that's still in the back of my mind I have been researching um, some um, surgeons and I'm liking this particular surgeon at University of California of Irvine they do um, robotic surgery and it's supposed to be minimally evas evasive invasive and um, they're going to go through I believe it's the armpits instead of the neck and it's supposed to be less complications and I know I'm playing with my hair I got me some new hair y'all <laughs> I had to do something nice for myself considering everything that has been going on with my mother as well as um, you know with uh, this Graves thing um, and let's talk about the hair a little bit the hair is um, it's a human hair wig and it's from Best Lace Wigs and it is the GSW 118 and it's the Kim Kardashian wig and let me see I don't want you guys to see my boobies anyway it's a 20 22 inch and it goes all the way down my butt it's silky textured hair however I washed it and I like it better now that I wash it it's not as silky as it was before but it's still tangle free very little shedding it's a beautiful wig I've cut the wig to frame my face and see I think I have a little bit of ADD or something or I'm jumping all over the place I'm first talking about the fine needle aspiration and now I'm jumping to this wig but I just want you to see it it's beautiful and my hair underneath the wig is growing beautifully right now I'm at full neck length and remember when I did my big chop I was about only an one inch of um, hair and now I have um, about five about five five inches now and so I'm very happy I believe wearing wigs is an excellent protective style um, anyway, this wig right here I purchased with my own money and I paid two hundred and um, ninety eight, almost three hundred dollars for it. The shipping was free and it came to me. I live in Southern California, so this came to me within a two day period and it's a lace front wig. Uh, so, anyway, <sighs> yeah, I'll just continue to say prayers for me, and I'll try, I'll let you guys know how the doctor's appointment went, okay? And I'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't stop it.